What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to learn how to create stairs. So we're going to create an L-shaped stairs and we're going to modify the railings of the stairs. And then after that, we're going to add railings on the main floor of our building model. So in 3D view, this is where we are going to place our stair. Okay, see this is our garage. So this is where we're going to place our L-shaped stairs going to this platform and then we're going to create a railing here. Okay, so let's get this thing started. So let me go to the garage floor again and for the stair, so you can find that on our architecture tab, circulation, you can see your stair there. Okay, so you just need to click that and then you can see here several options from our components panel wherein you can create a stair here. You can create a straight stair, a full step spiral. You can even create here a L-shaped winder, center and spiral and U-shaped winder. Okay, for this exercise, I'll just use here straight stair. And then you can also sketch here your stair. Okay, so let me use the straight stair and then specify the actual run width. So I'm gonna use 1000 here with an automatic landing. And then I'll be using the location line uh, run center without an offset here. So this is the property of the stair that I'll be using. I'll be using this assembled stair with the base level starting at main floor and top level is lower roof. And the desired number of risers, 23 with the actual tree depth of 275. So that's the default settings, okay? So the first thing that we'll be using, so as you can see, there's already reference planes here drawn as our guide. Okay, so let me click first our first point here. So let's say for this first run, I'm going to create six risers like that. As you can see, it says six risers created, 17 remaining. So I'm gonna pick here to create my first run and then I'm going to snap here it's my second run to create or use the remaining riser okay which is la just like this so I'm just gonna pick that that's enough for me okay and then after that just select here finish edit mode just click that and then you can see here a warning which is okay just close that warning and then let's check this one in 3D view. So let's go to our 3D and it looks like this. So I can type SD for shaded view so I can see my stair, okay? So that's now my stair. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to going back, I go back to the garage floor and then let me just create an elevation here, okay? So let's go to the view. And then let me create here an elevation. Okay, so let me click elevation. And I'll just use the default elevation here. And then I'm just going to place an elevation here. All right, and then I'll just select here modify. So let me now open my elevation. So let's double click this to open up the elevation. And this is now how it looks like. So let me just move the levels here away. So I can see clearly my... Uh, stair here okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to select uh, select the stair so this is the railing obviously and this is the stair so they are separate entity so I'm going to select the stair and then after that I'm gonna modify here the type property so let's select this one and let's see some of the options here to modify your uh, stair so let's say, for example, I'm going to look for uh, options here. So as you can see, there's the right support. So you can click that and then you can select here stringer close or none. Okay, so let's check this one out in 3D view. So let me cancel that. Let's go to the 3D view and let's see from here. Okay, so let's click that. And then let's uh, 
explore some of the options here for our stair. So let me just move that one here so we can see the preview. So for the right support, what will happen if we modify the right support? So instead uh, instead of carriage open, so let's use stringer closed. So let's apply that. Let's see what happens. So there's a modification that happens on that side. So, so let's select none. See that side there? So it updates. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select this and then create a selection box. And let us hide the walls here so we can see our model nicely. So right click, hide in view elements. Okay, like this. So as you can see, it's now edited. This side here has now been edited. Right? So let me select the stair, go to edit type, that is right support. So if I select here carriage open, if I select here OK, so this is now how it looks like, you see? So that's how it looks like. So let's select again and let's modify this. Uh, how about, what does it look like if it is stringer closed? So let's select that and then select apply and that's how it looks like. Right, so if it is um, none, let's select apply. So there you go. So that's for your right support. So how about if I change our left support? So let's select here none. Let's see how it looks like. Apply, and there you go. Select OK, and this is how it looks like. Okay. So let's select our stair. Modify it. Okay, so I'm just gonna use here uh, close stringer closed and then for my left support also stringer closed Okay, and then I'll just select here. Okay, there you go. So it's now closed Right, so let us now zoom uh, modify our selection box And let's click the bulb here so we can show these elements here again and hide like that. Okay. Adjust more. There you go. Okay, so now the next thing that we will be doing here is after modifying our stair here. So for your exercise, of course, you can just... Uh, try modi use or change some properties of your uh, stairs here. Okay. Now the next thing up that we are gonna do here is we're going to add railings to stairs and landing. Okay. So let me open again my garage floor. So let me double click that, and then we're going to add railings to stairs and uh, landing. So. I'm going to control select the railings of the staircase. So let's see this one. I think it's easier to select in the in the 3D view. Anyway, so here's my railing here. Okay, and I'm going to hold control. Let me select the railing on the other side. That's the one. Okay, let's check the 3D view. All right, so it's now selected. And then let's change the type here. So instead of handrail rectangular, so let's change that to handrail pipe. Click that to change it. There you go. It's now changed. By the way, if you want, you can also remove this railing on the other side. If you want, you can click that and then just select delete. So it will be removed. Okay. But let me just undo that just to return that railing. Okay, so now the next thing that we will be doing is we're going to create a railing here on our mezzanine floor. So let's go to the mezzanine floor here and then let's select our railing tool. So let's go to the architecture. Let's select here the railing. Okay, so let's click this. Okay, so for the type here, I'll be using handrail pipe. Okay, so let's use this one. 
And then just make sure chain here is selected so that we'll be able to create a continuous line for our chain for our uh, railing. So let's check that one. And then using the line tool, so let us now start creating the sketch. So I'm gonna pick here. Don't worry, we can change the location of our railing later on. So I'm gonna pick here and then it's continuous. So I'm gonna pick here. Okay, and then let us now select modify to terminate it. And then let's select here, check to finish edit mode. There you go. So let's check this one out in 3D view again. And there you go. There you have it. So you now have your railing here. Okay, so now let us modify the railing property. So let's say this one, I want to modify this uh, railing here, this one. So I can click this. Okay, and then let's go to the edit type. Okay, and then you can specify here the rail structure, the baluster placement. Okay, so for this one, let us edit the baluster placement. So let's play around. Okay, so for our uh, pattern here, railing, so you can specify the family. Okay, so you can specify the family here. So you can change that to whatever type that you have here that is loaded in your project. So let's say I'm going to, what's this name here? So that's a regular baluster. So let's change this. So currently it's a baluster round one. So how about uh, if I select here, 20 mm m baluster round 20 mm so let's try this one and then let's select your apply let's see how it looks like apply now it seems like that it's just a it's just a, the same family for this one but anyway basically that's how you change it that's how you modify just make sure you have a family loaded here and then you can just uh, select from here okay and then okay Okay, so it just so happened that they are just the same type of family. But anyway, so basically that's how you create your stairs and railing. So it's not that difficult, especially if you're just going to create a basic shape of stair. Alright, so hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.